666, often called the Mark of the Beast, comes straight out of the Bible. The book of Revelation warns us of two major figures during the end times. The Beast of the Sea, also known as the Antichrist, and the Beast of the Earth, also known as the False Prophet. These two will take over the world and before Jesus returns, the False Prophet will force people to accept the Mark of the Beast. But according to Revelation, the number 666 is symbolic, representing humanity's imperfection. 6 is the number of man created on the sixth day, while 7 symbolizes divine completion. But the actual mark of the beast is not 666, it's something that's calculated to it. The exact appearance of this mark is unknown. Some think it could be a barcode or microchip, but no one knows. It will serve as a symbol of allegiance to the Antichrist. The book of Revelation makes it clear that anyone who takes the mark will face God's full wrath. We're talking eternal torment in the lake of fire. There's no coming back from this. The Bible says it will be forced upon everyone. Those who refuse to worship the beast will suffer, often to the point of death. But there's hope. Revelation promises a future without suffering. For those who refuse the mark, there will be eternal life in heaven. Also in numerology, 666 is connected to negative energies. Former US President Ronald Reagan even changed the street number of his Bel Air home from 666 to 668 once. 33 is considered the number of the gods and called the master number in numerology. It appears in the Bible, history and nature. It's connected to the crucifixion of Jesus. The 33 authors of the Bible plus the divine name Elohim appears 33 times in the opening chapters of Genesis. Even the words Genesis and Jehovah add up to 33 in the Pythagorean system. 33 also appears in ancient Egypt, where there are traditionally 33 pharaonic dynasties. In Vedic Hinduism there are 33 gods and goddesses and in Buddhism the second level of heaven is known as home to the 33 gods. Even in Islam the number symbolizes good triumphing over evil and there are 33 beats in the Tasbih prayer, in which God is glorified. The significance of 33 continues in the realm of science. There's 33 vertebrae in the human spine and the Higgs boson, a tiny particle that helps explain why other particles have mass, often called the God particle, connects to the number 33. 777 is often seen as the ultimate holy number. It's said to represent spiritual perfection and divine alignment. It's seen as a triumph of God's number 7 over the devil's 666, symbolizing the threefold perfection of the Trinity. In numerology, it's said to unite the principles of man, the cosmic planes and their perfect image in harmony. This powerful combination of sevens represents the universal organization, symbolizing evolution, growth and divine order. If you sum up the digits, you get 21, a number known for prosperity and good fortune. In esoteric traditions, 777 embodies the ascension of the soul through different planes, material, astral and spiritual, reaching toward divine perfection. Some even believe it hints at a future cosmic age where God's kingdom will reign on earth and the forces of evil will be subdued. According to the Bible, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. In Gematria, an ancient system used in Jewish mysticism that assigns numerical values to Hebrew letters, the Greek word for resurrection adds up to 777. It's also known as an angel number. Seeing 777 is like receiving a message from the universe and hitting the celestial jackpot. You're in tune with your higher mission and abundance is headed your way. 23 has a mysterious reputation. It's believed to have mystical significance because of how often it pops up in nature and history like the 23 pairs of chromosomes in the human body or the earth's axis tilt angle of roughly 23 degrees. In Principia Discordia, the foundational text of the Discordian movement, 23 is sacred to Eris, the Greek goddess of chaos and discord. It's viewed as lucky, unlucky, strange or even sinister depending on the context. Fans of H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu mythos also find eerie connections with this number. One of the most famous ideas surrounding 23 is the 23 enigma, the belief that strange coincidences or events are tied to this number. 
It all started with writer William S. Burroughs in 1960, who once knew a Captain Clark who boasted he'd sailed for 23 years without an accident. That very day, Clark's ship had a fatal accident. Later that evening, Burroughs heard about another Captain Clark who crashed Flight 23 in Florida. Since then, the number 23 has been linked to eerie coincidences. 13 is often seen as a number of misfortunes, especially in the western world, and you can feel its impact everywhere. Some tall buildings skipping the 13th floor, people avoiding having 13 guests at dinner, and the sheer dread of Friday the 13th. And then the fear of 13 reached new heights after the near-catastrophic Apollo 13 mission in 1970. This fear has roots in Norse and Christian traditions. In Norse mythology, there's a myth where Loki, the trickster god, was the uninvited 13th guest at a dinner in Valhalla, leading to the death of the beloved god Baldr. In Christian tradition, the number 13 is tied to the Last Supper, where Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus, was the 13th person at the table. However, in ancient Egypt, it symbolized transformation and rebirth, and in Aztec mythology, the 13 heavens were part of creation itself, formed from the body of the primordial Sipakli. Some Wiccans view it as the ideal number for a coven, while in Belgium, women even consider 13 as a lucky charm. Three symbolizes balance, harmony and completeness in esoteric tradition. It embodies concepts like the mind-body-spirit connection and a past-present-future continuum. In German folklore, a paper triangle inscribed with a cross in each corner and a prayer at its center was believed to protect against gout and safeguard a cradle from witches. Conversely, three black animals were often sacrificed to summon demons, while a three-colored cat served as a protective spirit. Also in fairy tales, things often occur in threes, like three granted wishes or three trials faced. In ancient Babylon, the three primary gods, Anu, Baal and Ea, represented heaven, earth and the abyss. Similarly, in ancient Egypt, the sun god manifested in three aspects, reflecting the cosmic structure of sky, earth and duat. Plato linked the number three to the triangle, viewing it as the shape from which the world was created. In Greek mythology, the three fates determined human destiny. In Mayan culture, the number three is sacred to women, and in Wicca, the triple goddess represents the divine feminine in three forms. In Christianity, three is highlighted by the Holy Trinity, plus it appears over 500 times throughout the Bible, such as when Jesus fell three times while carrying his cross, the three sons of Noah, and the three levels of Noah's Ark. Five is seen as a mediator between God and the universe. The Mayas even considered it a symbol of perfection. The number five symbolizes the union of masculine and feminine energies, combining the first female and male number. Five is strongly connected to humans. Five fingers, senses, limbs and even the five wounds of Christ on the cross link it to divine grace and the man-god concept. There are many more references in the Bible like the five pebbles David used to defeat Goliath or how God instructed Abraham to sacrifice five kinds of animals. The five is also considered sacred in Islam, with the five pillars and the five prayers per day central to the faith. In Babylonian and Roman mythology, five was associated with the goddesses of love, Ishtar and Venus, symbolized by the five-pointed star or pentagram, which also plays a role in occult rituals and religious contexts. In Gematria, five represents this Hebrew letter on the screen, which I can pronounce, symbolizing life, breath and the soul. Seven is often seen as a lucky number, and its presence is woven through cultures, religions and history. We see it in the seven days of the week, it's linked to the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, the seven deadly sins and virtues, while Japanese mythology speaks of seven lucky gods. In ancient astronomy, seven planets were recognized, and today each moon phase lasts about seven days. In numerology, seven represents spirit spiritual development and the search for truth. It's seen as a number of completion, often associated with good fortune and success. In the Bible, God created the world in seven days and Noah loaded seven pairs of clean animals onto the ark. 
In Tarot, seven is connected to the chariot, symbolizing determination and control. Ancient Egypt also revered seven, with seven paths to heaven and Osiris guiding his father through seven underworld halls. Eight is regarded as super lucky in Chinese culture, where its pronunciation closely resembles the word for prosper or wealth. This connection leads many people to favor it for phone numbers and addresses. In Babylonian mythology, the eighth realm was believed to be the home of the gods and considered a paradise. In Islamic tradition, while there are seven hells, there are eight paradises, signifying God's mercy. Buddhism also embraces the number eight, linking it to luck and fortune through the eight-petaled lotus, a symbol of prosperity in both Buddhism and Indian culture. It's also linked to the Ashta Siddhis in Hinduism, representing the eight great perfections that enhance one's life. Esoteric practices say that seeing the number 8 repeatedly can be interpreted as a sign to release negativity and embrace positivity. The uninterrupted and symmetrical shape of the 8 further supports these concepts. Even Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter for $44 billion is connected to the energy of 8 as 4 plus 4 equals 8. Additionally, Musk charges users $8 per month for a verified account. Nine. In numerology, 9 is often seen as the end of a cycle, representing completion, wisdom or even reaching a higher state of consciousness. In Norse mythology, the world tree Yggdrasil connects 9 realms. In ancient Greek mythology, the 9 muses were goddesses of inspiration. In Christianity, it's associated with the 9 virtues of the Holy Spirit and it's tied to the 9 ranks of angels in Christian mysticism. In Hinduism, Baha'i faith and Buddhism, the number is linked to completion and spiritual fulfillment. Freemasons even consider nine to represent human immortality. However, Greek philosopher Pythagoras and his followers reportedly viewed nine as unlucky, considering it a boundary between humans and gods, a barrier to divine ascension. And then there are the infamous nine satanic statements in LaVey's satanic bible. Some think that the use of nine is no accident here. Its symbolism of finality and cyclical power reflects the satanic ideal of fully embracing one's carnal nature. Some also think that the nine represents hidden power, as it always seems to reappear in calculations like how multiplying nine returns to itself if you sum the components of the result. 11 often carries negative connotations, especially in occult circles. It is seen as a signal number, a kind of code to identify occultists with each other. Symbolically, it represents the synthesis of opposing forces, bringing together chaos and order, light and dark. This is sometimes referred to as the great work in esoteric circles. In ancient Babylonian myth, Tiamat, the god of chaos, is said to be supported by 11 monsters. The number 11 is also considered unlucky by the Hebrews and there are no names with 11 letters in Hebrew. In the Bible, Joseph, the 11th son of Jacob, is betrayed by his brothers. But 11 isn't always bad. In numerology, 11 is considered a master number, representing strong intuition, spiritual insight and enlightenment. The phenomenon of seeing 1111 on clocks is tied to ideas of synchronicity and spiritual awakening, with people often making wishes at that exact time, believing that it could be a moment of great significance. In Chinese tradition, 11 represents the harmonious union of the sky represented by 6 and the earth represented by 5, making it a symbol of balance in the cosmos. Subscribe for more videos and check out my channel to discover other topics.